All right, we are live. I'm gonna have to take care of that so that doesn't do anything weird to me. Alrighty. Looks like we are good to go. No dropped frames, nothing of that sort. PS30, awesome. All right. Just about ready to start. All right, <clears throat> I've got enough buffering time, got lights on, got everything ready to go. Um, I think we're ready to start the stream, so welcome everyone to the live stream this week. Um, another mock stream that is not about mocks, my own creation. <laughs> I have been excited to do this for quite a long time, been anticipating it for quite a long time. Um, for those of you that know, which I'm sure is going to be almost all of you, and those of you that don't, um, there is a program that LEGO, the LEGO company does called LEGO Ideas, and people can submit their own ideas for a real LEGO set, and if it reaches 10,000 supporters in a certain amount of time, LEGO may actually build it into a real set. Um, so the latest one to go through that whole process, takes a couple of years to get that done, um, is the LEGO Ship in a Bottle, and I've been stoked because it's a really cool build. The guy that designed it is from Idaho, which I'm also from, so I thought that was super cool. Um, and it's just a really cool looking set. So as soon as it went available on the Lego shop, within 10 minutes, I had it ordered and on its way to my house. So for today's stream, we will be building this, the epic Lego Ideas Leviathan Ship in a Bottle. So um, yeah, again, sorry it's not a actual my own creation, but I thought the set was super cool, and I was really excited because I wanted to be one of the first people, if I could, which probably not, but to order the set, build it live, review it, um, check it out in its glory. So that's what we are going to be doing today. So uh, without further ado, live chat is up. Um, tweet should be out. We are recording. We are streaming. All good. So. That is all the announcements I have. Actually, no, it isn't. Sorry, my bad. Wind up. Back up. Before we get started with Lego ideas, um, I actually have a few things as well. There's a few links in the description you may notice. One is for my own Lego ideas page. Um, I will be making videos on several mocks coming up in the future, and almost all of them I have posted on Lego ideas. So if any of them that you would like to see turn into a real set, go ahead, jump on over there. Um, and support an idea for yourself. There are also links to my BrickLink and Rebrickable pages. You can also find my mocks there. Um, download building instructions for them, see for more pictures, things like that. Uh, there's a link to my Patreon. Um, YouTube has become quite a difficult platform <laughs> recently to survive on, so if you feel like, if you're willing to support me and you don't want to do it on YouTube, Patreon is the place to do it. Uh, oh, you know what I need to do? before we can start the stream, is put a link to where you can buy the ship in a bottle uh, for yourself. This is what I did. I uh, actually made a pretty big order from the Lego shop. I got two other sets and the 60 Years of the Brick exclusive set as well. But today we're just going to be doing this one. So I'm going to put a link in the description to this LEGO set. If you would like to build it for yourself, if you would like to own it, go ahead and use my link because that will get you the best price on Amazon that you can get to purchase it, and it will also, um, it will also uh, help support me a little bit as well. So oh, let's see, this isn't the official LEGO one. Um, so I'll get that uh, pulled up here in just a second. Alright, 
sorry about that. So there is now a link in the description you can use to purchase this set if you would like it. Um, yeah, if you feel like you, uh, if you, if you feel like you can, go ahead and use that. As I said, that will support me a little bit and get you the best deal that it can on Amazon as well. So uh, yeah. Anyway, without further ado, let's get building our um, ship in a bottle. So I'm gonna have a picture up here. Uh, right there. That's where it is. Picture of what we're going to be building, so if you join in at any time during the stream, you will be able to see what the finished product should look like. And let's get started. So this is the ship in a, ship in a bottle box. Just got a picture on the front, a single picture on the back, and kind of a portcullis little image there. And this is actually kind of a unique box. It's not the same as most of the Lego, like, creator and city sets that's, you open it from the side. This actually is, has a panel that, like, folds out like that. So, to get that open, we will need the trusty, fantastic unboxing knife that has my name on it. So, let's see here. Don't even have to put pressure on it. This knife is so... Sharp and precise. All right. So here's what we see inside. It's just a black line box. I thought they might have some kind of printer pattern up there, but it's just colored black, which I suppose is a nice change from the typical brown. Got some bags of parts here. A lot of Transparent ones, obviously. A lot of transparent ones. These don't uh, come in bags, which is kind of unfortunate. <sighs> Got some <sighs> kind of dust or something on them there. That's interesting, these large, kind of rounded window tile pieces. So we got four of those. And then just an instruction booklet. This doesn't seem, honestly, to be packed as well as some other LEGO sets I've purchased. It seems like everything was just kind of pumped in there and left to, left to be what it was, so, uh, anyway, so these are all the parts that we have, I'll leave this over here, so we can put kind of a less needed things in there for now, Two, and this is also a force, I believe that's for the stand, then, set these down right here, oh, this is going to be an awesome build, okay, Quite a few transparent pieces. And our first bag, which I assume is what we're going to be starting out with to build. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay, here we go. Look at this. It's a nice little booklet. Meet the fan designer. So this is Jake Sadovich, the guy that originally put the set together on LEGO Ideas. The model designers, these are the people that took it from uh, what his original idea was here, which um, is not exactly the same, and made it into this here. Okay, so here we've got the start of the instructions. First bag is just for the ship itself. Second bag is for the bottle, and the third and the fourth bag is for the stand and the top of the bottle there. All right, let's get building. I'm I'm so excited to do this. Now I did contact Jake because he is an Idahoan. I did uh, send him a couple of messages and ask him if he'd like to actually come down and be on the stream with me today, which I thought would have been the coolest thing I had ever done in my life, um, to have the actual designer of a Lego set come down and help me build it and we could do kind of an interview thing, but he was unfortunately unavailable, so uh, I'm just going to be building it by myself. There's a chance he'll show up um, sometime later, but I kind of doubt it, so we'll just see. But. I tried, I did. I was really hoping that we could do something uh, along those lines and have it be more of a personal, uh, like, touch base with the guy that put this together, find out what he thinks about it and stuff. So, anyway, let's get our pieces sorted here. Make sure everything is still on screen for the most part, yep. Okay, laptop is right here gonna be honest about that. I'm not a big fancy YouTuber with a giant studio setup. I am recording at my college and I'm using one laptop and one uh, decent quality camera. Oh nice! 
some one by three uh, panels here. That's interesting, and an interesting color too. I don't know what this is. It's not reddish brown. It might be just regular like medium brown or something. I don't know. I only have maybe two pieces at most in that color in my entire collection, so no idea. Let's get these sorted out. The other sets that I bought along with this order were the Creator, um, the new like track racer set, the big blue car. I don't remember the title of the set offhand. Um, but I'm going to actually be, I won't be assembling that at all. I'm just using it for parts for some other mocks that I have designed that are blue. So that's that. And I told myself before I started the stream I was going to make sure that the box and everything was really carefully preserved so I could save it for a long time and resell it, but you know what? There's an awful lot of cool pieces in here. I don't think I'm going to... I mean, I'm sure I'm going to keep it intact and keep it as nice as possible, but I'm not going to try and preserve this and resell it as a new inbox. That's just... That's not going to happen, which I am totally fine with. Jeez, look at this. I've got some of these one-by-one -one studs with holes in the middle. I've got some... Uh, of these little minifigure like, well, micro figure like stands. We've got some 2x2 two two plates with rounded sides and holes up in the middle. That's kind of interesting. And we've got some brighter green, <clears throat> some medium green, some, I assume this is like dark azure or turquoise or something. Some dark brown, all kinds of stuff. You know what, I'm betting I can zoom this camera in. Uh, a little bit further too, if need be. I feel like that could be done so that it's not uh, such a far out view of the build. Let's do that. Let's just zoom it in a little bit here. There we go. That's much better. That is much better. <clears throat> Perfect. That's probably a lot better view for most of you. Okay. So there's those pieces sorted. Let's open this up and get done. All right, get these sorted out as well. A lot of really unique pieces here. I'm yeah. One of my uh, one of the biggest things about Lego for me uh, since I was young is collecting pieces that aren't made very often in colors that aren't made very often. I love having rare parts and rare colors and having a collection of really unique things like these right here these one by one plates in whatever this dark azure color is that I am just super excited about that because I can't build anything major with it but it could be a nice detail in something and they're really useful to have oh nice and we've got like eight of these little uh, stand things too sweet Oh, these are for the cannons, that's right. I actually have been using those a lot recently. Um, spoiler alert for those of you that are watching the stream and are awaiting more mocks. I have built a fleet of Honda vehicles, and um, I'm working on some other non-Honda vehicles right now. Um, but I've been using those little pieces, these little stands. Oh, don't lose that. These little, like, minifigure stand pieces. Um, as the gear shifters. So I've actually already had to order several of them, but now uh, for future cars that I'm building, I will not have to continue doing that because I now have a bunch. Uh, let's see. Now there's a lot of good pieces here. I'll probably keep this model. Hey, Lego guy, welcome to the stream. I hope that you didn't see the title mock stream and think I was building a mock, because I'm not. Today I am working on the ship in a bottle set, and we're going to start building it as soon as I finish sorting the pieces here. Alright. And that's back. Okay. So we've got all the first bags sorted out here, so I think we are about ready to actually start building this thing. So first up. First off, bag number one, we're going to be building a little mini ship model that goes inside. So, start off with these. And put the green one on top. Alrighty. And we're already 
off to a separate step of set of steps. Just want to make sure everything stays on screen. Sorry. Um, I am new to this live streaming thing. Maybe five streams total. I think I've done. This is the fourth one out of the mock stream series. But so if you see me always looking at my laptop and camera and stuff, just because I'm trying to make sure everything is going well. I'm not going to do the zombie apocalypse mock. I think I like making custom minifigs now. Oh, cool. I actually just finished up building, uh, putting together a minifigure for my channel, a main uh, figure for that. Um, I didn't really realize that a lot of other uh, YouTubers and people actually did that, make uh, sig figs, significant figures for their channel. Um, and so I never did that, but yeah. I finally put one together. So, uh, custom minifigs. So, like, for specific themes, like, um, I don't know, like, not firefighters or something, but um, are you just going to build them out of Lego parts, or are you actually going to do, like, uh, actually, like, paint new patterns on them and stuff? Because that would be cool. I did that one time with a blue minifig shirt that I had. Didn't turn out as well as I'd hoped. And I just did these instructions backward. That's okay. As long as it turns out, it turns out. So this needs to be in the back. And this needs to be up here. So I think this is where our cannons are going to go. Do that one more time. I use as little paint as possible. Okay, I gotcha. Nice. Trying to think of anything that I can say that's worth listening to, but I'm mostly just excited about building this thing. So as I said, the guy that designed it is from Idaho, which is probably at least 50% of the inspiration that uh, got me to buy this set and build it myself. And I was really hoping that we could do an interview with him because I had several questions. I, I wanted to talk to him about like how he felt about the original model versus, um, you know, what the new one turned out to be because it's quite a bit smaller. The finished product. Um, at the end of the stream, I'll try to put up some pictures of what his original design was. But uh, yeah, mixed stuff from movies and games. Oh, nice! So you're actually taking like characters in some move your game and designing a minifigure that looks just like it. That is awesome. Okay, I already did that. Didn't see that. Didn't see it. Okay, so we've got these two here. And that's going... What? Oh, it's sideways, that's why. <coughs> Good job, Nick. Alrighty. Nice, nice. Make sure that's all nice and lined up. So there's the side of our ship there, a little hole going down. And uh, now we're going to do the back side, it looks like. So we'll take one of these. Oh, it's cute. On the instructions, it has the little pearl gold pieces like this, but it has like a little mark like a little white glimmer mark on there to show that it reflects light so that you know it's a reflective piece. That's an interesting little touch right there. And then this goes on the side. And this goes down below it. I just started uploading videos. Cool. Cool cool. And uh oh my god. And then one of yep these, and one of these. So I assume that this little part that sticks down here is actually what you attach to the bottle itself, uh, or not. Look at that. Don't I just seem so smart and brilliant? Well, actually, it still might be. I don't know. But that's going on. Oh no, it's not actually. This is the back of the ship going up there. Gotcha. Didn't do a whole lot of research going into this. 
Um, so, my bad. Yes, 30. What? Oh, I guess that's, oh, maybe that's for one of these other options here. Okay. Know what a xenomorph is. Uh, I've heard that similar before. I want to say it sounds like a Pokemon, but I don't want to also sound stupid. Um, but I think that's what it is. I have heard that before, not clicking immediately, but I've heard the word before. Are you designing one out of, out of uh, Lego? Is that... Uh, that'd be cool. It must be pretty hard to actually put together a Pokemon out of a Lego minifigure. This is probably going to be the front of the ship, I'm guessing. Yeah, I think so. It's from the movie Alien. <laughs> nice. Good job. <laughs> well, it turns out I feel stupid anyway. Alien. Okay. Is that like the, uh, the game... I've played Alien Isolation on Xbox with a couple of my friends. Is that from that same franchise? Maybe that's where I've heard it. Uh, oops, I did that one. Is it that creepy thing with like two heads inside each other? Definitely not a Pokemon, yep. <laughs> yeah, I uh, blew that one. My, my, uh, well, not my first failure on stream. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anything about Pokemon, so if it sounds like a name, I'll guess, but yeah, it's the same. Okay, nice. So. Gotcha. So are you going to actually build one out of Lego then? Is that why, you, uh, why you're why you bringing it up? That would be cool. Kind of scary too, but it would be cool. Uh, okay. Just like that. Awesome. And now we're building the other side. Nice. That will be cool. I can't wait to see how that turns out. What kind of scale are you going to build it in? Like, um, how... How large are you going to make it relative to a minifigure? You could almost do... That'd be fun to put together a uh, realistic-looking xenomorph and then do, like, a stop-motion animation with it and have it, uh, you know, do a scene from the movie or something. That'd be cool. Okay, back to the pearly gold pieces. My sister has a ton of these pearl gold parts, not that specifically, but just that color, because she uh, used to be obsessed with the Lego Knights franchise, and they always did a bunch of decoration with that color part, so... There we go. And... Oh, it's not the same angle. Oh, there we go. There's two of each. That would explain it. Okay, and then one more of these little slopes. And that goes right on there. Perfect. So you can see we're kind of forming the whole back of the ship now. Oop. That, my heart just stopped immediately. Whew. Okay. One, two, and three of these. Oh, and then... This is interesting. This isn't something that LEGO usually does. They're using these uh, little slopes right here. Probably can't even see what that is very well. Ah, just like that. And they're putting them, connecting them to a 1 by 3 plate on one side. And then they're connecting a different part to the underside. That is not something characteristic of a Lego set, because it's not very stable, especially with something with little rounded corners like this. Compared to a minifig, it'd be a little bit bigger, because it's a little bigger than the human in the movies. Okay, so you're going to do like a regular minifig scale. That'll be cool, that'll be cool, and kind of scary. Hey, Ton Lego Brick is here too. Welcome to the stream. Oh wait, did I? Yeah, I did. Put that on right. We are doing the ship in a bottle right now, we're working on the little mini ship that goes inside. Came back from school. Nice. Okay, and now I've just got one of these smack dab in the center. 
Awesome. So there's the back of the ship. Then we need one of these at the prow. Let's break with four studs on all sides. I don't know what they're going to do with that. Okay, and then one of these just to go across the whole thing. This must be where the masts are going to attach, I think. Yeah, that's probably what it's going to be. Two of these and one of these. I don't know a lot of ship terminology either, so I'm not going to try and say I'm building the stern or the bow or whatever. I know that this is the prow or the helm, I think, but still have my Lego Tiger. Nice. And one. Yeah, I think that's definitely where the mast is going to go. All right. Little guys out for a second. Now what color is that? Okay, that's this one. And pearly gold one. There we go, make sure everything's lined up. And I guess we're doing the others the rest of the sides of the ship now. Yes. Okay. There, I believe. Yep. Had a substitute. Oh, did you now? Interesting. Substitutes are always kind of a. You never know. Oh, wait. Still so on the front. Okay. I've got two of the. Wait. Are you kidding me? Back. Leg guys, back. All right. Um, I don't think either of you were here when I mentioned this, but if you do want to buy this set or have someone buy it for you, there is a link in the description uh, for Amazon that you can purchase it there as well, just so you know. Okay. Now, how is this going to work here? I've got one. Oh, I see. Some more interesting build techniques. Alright, so this is going to be the front corner of the ship, I believe. One of these wide slopes. Nice, that holds everything together quite securely. And then one of the short slopes. And a one by one tile. Plate, sorry. Oh, also, um, have you ever made an origami flash or one little? I did not, no. Um, one other thing I mentioned to at the start of the stream, uh, this is a LEGO Ideas set, and I also have my own uploaded to the site, so if you want to go check those out and uh, help turn those into a real set, that would be greatly appreciated. Okay, now we are at the front. Nope, other side. Just fold one. Is that very difficult to fold, or is that more of an easy, uh, easy model? I'm not sure what a... Flash. I'm not sure what that is exactly, to be honest. That's coming together quite well, and that's this is actually a lot bigger than I anticipated it being, which is kind of nice. Okay, put those together. Put one up here. when you jump ahead and don't follow the instructions. Put it together wrong. There we go. And this guy. And then one more. It's the last slope piece and the last one by one plate. So it's going on this side here. Perfect. That all locks together quite well. This is actually really stable as far as how the model goes. That's quite quite sturdy there. I really want to make my Xenomorph tutorial video, but you're streaming, so I don't want to leave. Oh, gotcha. Well, you know, you could just leave the stream going and leave it on mute, and then uh, 
do the video and come back. It's always an option. That's actually what I was doing last night. I was recording a video, a showcase for one of my mocks that I'm going to be publishing. And I had another YouTuber going on uh, on the side. And I just had the video muted. I've got these little side rails here, so that's going to make kind of the deck of the ship right in there. This is interesting. I've never seen a 1x3 panel like that before. That's pretty cool. And such a unique color, too. Okay, now I think we're about to get to the masts. Uh, nope, wrong again. We are actually filling out the bottom of the ship. But we're leaving spaces for the masts. Same with my flash, we'll get back to that. I'll mute and then read. Nice. So you've already actually built the xenomorph then. That's pretty pretty cool. How long did it take you to uh, design that, Lego guy? Just gonna sit right in there. That's kind of a loose part. I hope they attach that down or something. They probably will. Okie dokie. Uh, oh, yeah, they do. We've got these pieces here making kind of a little staircase up to the other deck, it looks like. That's the one thing about LEGO designers, is they always find a really good balance between simple building and a lot of detail. Like, even if it's something on such a small scale like this, you can still tell what it is, what it's trying to be. Nice. That's really good looking, actually. Okay. Ooh, I look for review. I will show that message, and yes, I will actually... I will do that at the end of the stream. Remind me at the end, and I will subscribe to you and keep my notifications on. I look forward to seeing that Xenomorph video, honestly. Last night from 8.40 to 9.30 something. Okay, cool. I've been a fan of Alien for years, so I've made lots of prototypes, but I settled on one. Oh, cool, that's nice. Yeah, it's always, uh, you know, um, I've done several mocks, but I'm always the most proud when I spend a lot of extra time, like, designing and refining it, um, and especially if it's something you enjoy. That's really good. Um, so I'm glad that you uh, got a design that you liked. That's cool. Um, yeah, so rem remind me at the end of the stream, and I will definitely hop on over to your channel and uh, drop you a sub there. There and then one of these little clips. This little flag that goes on the back here. That's cute. I don't know if they're trying to represent some actual country flag or if it's just a basic color, but it looks good. Okay, so now we're getting to the front. I do know what this sail is called because of the office. This is the flying jib. And that's gonna go right out the front of this ship here. Yeah, not a problem, little guy, definitely. Just uh, make sure you remind me so I do not forget. This is going to attach. There's a little bar right in the front there. That just clips right into. Beautiful. Nice. Okay. So now I've got one of these and two tiles. So this is going to be the spacing between the actual... Uh, masts here. Okay, so that kind of tells you how high this can go. That's where that tile ends. Okay. We've got one there and one there. Sweet. Next step. Ooh, we've got more of the pearl gold pieces. So this is going to be the little cannon covers, actually. So we need all six of these. We need one, two, three, four, five, six of these. And six of these little can of pieces. So these are all going to attach right on top of that. Glad I did not drop that. <clears throat> that would be a pain to find on this floor. Right, and then we've just got the little covers that are going to go on each one. 
Unfortunately, they don't close down all the way, but they look like they do. So, again, very good design detail. Sometimes I feel like LEGO adds new parts to their database, they manufacture new stuff just because they can and it makes models easier. And sometimes I feel like they add pieces because it's something that, it's a part they could have used in a lot of sets up to that point, and it would have made the little details really nice and helpful. And they just finally decided we need to make this new piece because we have a lot of spaces we could use it. Alright, so there's our first set of cannons right there. Beautiful. Stick the other ones right on the side here. Awesome. Let's tilt it to the side a little bit. Perfect. So now we've got our ship and our front sail and little cannons right there. Awesome. I'm working a World War II soldier right now. Oh, cool. Nice. Have you uh, ever seen those like packs of custom weapons and everything they make? Um, it's not official Lego, but it's uh, like brick arms or something like that. I actually ended up buying one of those packages one time that had a bunch of different real-world guns in minifigure scale. Those are actually pretty cool. Okay, so now we're starting on the sails here. So this one. That, and then... here for crossbar. Cool. And, oh wait. Now, how is that supposed to attach? Oh, I see. You have to push this all the way down. And that sticks on top. There we go. So that's going to be like a little area for the next sails to attach. Right on top of there. Put another one of these fancy new clips on. And then upside down order thing for kind of a little crow's nest detail. Can you make a small TV? Uh, I could actually. Have you seen my the tutorial I made for the flat screen TV? Um, I did that a while back, but it's you know kind of a big HD TV on the stand. But uh, so that's the TV I've already made, but if you'd want to see something different, I could definitely try and build a uh, a different type of TV as well. We have one of those old CRT TVs that look like a giant just cube. They're like 80 pounds. We've got one of those in our basement. So I could build one of those as well. Just putting together the sails here. They do have this kind of print on them. I don't know if it's the same one as they used in the Lego Knight series, but it looks kind of similar with the red and white checkers with the gold dragon on them, I guess. Maybe they didn't use a dragon in the Knights sets, but it looks pretty similar, so. Got that there. That's just gonna clip right on the middle. And that's just gonna clip right on the middle. Beautiful. All right, so there's our first set of sails right here. Like, will Dalek Bricks watch this? You know, I honestly hope so. I don't know what his time schedule is, or her. I, I don't know. I haven't actually, like, another thing to talk to him, so I don't want to say he. I just assume, but I don't know if they will watch. They came kind of right at the end of the stream last week, um, and I let them know that it started earlier in the day. Oh, I have to do that twice. But I don't know what the rest of their day is like, and they haven't contacted me, so I can't say for certain if they will show up or not. I can always hope so. I think it would be awesome if they came and watched some of the stream. So, we'll see. Cross our fingers. Are you going to make it live on Saturday? Uh, no. Saturday I will be doing homework. <laughs> I will be posting a uh, mock on Saturday, ideally. A uh, tutorial, maybe, actually. Um, but I will not be doing a live stream on Saturday, no. The Wi-Fi at my house is not fast enough to support a stream very well, at least not a high-quality one. So I prefer doing it here uh, while I'm on campus so I can get a better signal. On what? That is a surprise. Um, I mentioned earlier that I have kind of a fleet of vehicles that I've designed, but I'm not going to tell you what they are. Um, but I've built 
three of them so far. I've got parts on the way to make four more. They're all different. Um, so I'm going to start putting up videos and tutorials for those as soon as I can. But it's going to be a surprise what they are. Um, if you check out the links in the description, though, for Rebrickable or Bricklink, uh, they are actually already uploaded there. So if you want to get a sneak peek, you can check them out over there. Do people make fun of you for playing with Lego? Um, you know what? I have had a couple people that tell me they think it's funny that I still play with Legos, even though I'm 19. <laughs> uh, and... Even my mom and stuff still makes jokes about it, but in the end, I don't really mind because I have a lot of fun just being creative with it, so I don't, uh, I don't care if people um, think it's weird just because I'm old. I think Legos are one of those toys that, um, it's just one of those things that people of all ages can enjoy, and it's not weird if, even like older people, I used to play Legos with my grandparents when they came down to my house. Um, so I don't, I think Lego is something that everyone can enjoy. And it's one of the few toys that does that well. So, you know, if someone were to tell me they think it's dumb that I play with Legos just because I'm not a kid, I don't care. Is that all the way in there? I don't want to break it, but I don't feel like that's all the way down. Maybe it's not supposed to be. Maybe that one's supposed to be a little higher up. Alright. Can you still make origami? If you can, you should make a video on it. I cannot. I haven't done origami in a long time, and I don't remember how to do most of it. I could always relearn, but I don't know that I have the time to try and do that uh, in addition to school and all the Lego stuff I want to do. Um, but that's definitely something I could consider in the future. Alright, moving on to the last mast up at the front here. And this one's got like one of the little pedestals upside down for a crow's nest kind of thing. I feel like they all have little crow's nests on them, but I'm not sure which one is intended to actually be the main crow's nest. Because in a ship, isn't it the highest one up so they can get the best view? Um, I don't know. So this needs to go up through here far enough that that can attach to it. Perfect. What is 12 times 12? That is 144. 12 squared. Come on now. Stop giving me these problems. Okay. And one more set of sails. Easy enough. One thing I will say is that uh, my fiance thinks it's kind of weird that I play with Legos. She laughs at it sometimes, but she doesn't make fun of me. She just thinks it's more like a cute hobby, I guess. Um, so there's that. But doing fractions. Jeremy Schaefer is an origamist. Alright, and this is just the last mast right on the front there. Oh wait, did I do that upside down? No, I didn't. Okay. There we go. Beautiful. That is a good looking little ship there. Um, Jang Bricks, if any of you guys watch his videos, he did a demonstration of replacing this ship with the ship from the 60 years of the Lego brick set. Um, replacing that instead. So that was a pretty cool thing there. About similar in size. Okay. So that is done. Put that... Uh, that would be a good spot to place that. There we go. We'll put it right here so you guys can still see that. He's also a YouTuber. I figured. Okay, now we're moving on to all the clear pieces. So we're actually going to start building the bottom of the bottle. Now, of course I would sort these out, but what's to sort? They're all the same color. So, uh, I guess I can just do kind of the type of part. Sort it by that. This is more 
clearer Lego than I've ever owned in my life. Probably gonna lose a bunch of these. Okay, so in here we've got our uh, one by one bricks with the headlight. And, well, just, yeah, little one by one tiles. Some one by two bricks. I can't take the time to sort all that out. That would be a nightmare. So we'll just leave it like that. Bottle, yes, it is time for the bottle. And as you can see, so right now, uh, right there, okay. So right here, we're gonna be, that's what the finished model is looking like, and we're building the back half of the bottle right now. Um, the way this is designed, you can't actually tell from most of the pictures, but this ship actually attaches to the bottom inside of the bottle, so we're gonna build the back part that goes around like this, and then stick it on there, and then build the front part and put it back on like that. So that's how that's gonna work. Got some more bricks and such here. Again, it would take too long to sort that out, so I'm not going to. I'm just gonna start right off with the building. Jeez, it's already almost been an hour. This is gonna take quite a while to finish. Hopefully I can do it all in one stream. Just have to speed it up a little bit. Do you use or show Legos at school? Um, actually, in high school I did. I don't uh, in college anymore. Um, I do a lot of my 3D design in my college classes, but I have not brought any into the class. But I used to in high school, and I would actually take my Legos to a lot of the different classrooms. The teachers would have me use them like in art classes and stuff and demonstrate different things with that. And I had a uh, biology class. Oh, this is a story I haven't remembered in a long time. I had a biology class, and one of the projects was to make a diagram of a cell in the human body. So we had to make the cell wall, and we had to put all the little things inside, like the mitochondria and the uh, DNA and different things like that. And so I actually built a Lego cell, and it had a front that opened up, and you could see all of the different uh, parts of the cell inside it. And I was really proud of that. A lot of people um, thought that that was really good, so that's probably the best time that I brought uh, Legos to school. Oh, we're still going. Not sure if this is the back or the side. I think it's the back. Not sure. Make sure that lines up nice and straight. What made you start Legos? I don't remember ever starting Legos, honestly. Um, when I was two or three years old, my parents gave me a Lego set for Christmas, and it was one of the, uh, oh, one of the, I'm building a head here, one of the, it was a big semi-truck, it was a, had a yellow cab and then it had a big, like, car hauler trailer on it, they gave me that for Christmas, and then my dad went, um, he went downstairs into our basement and he pulled out some Lego sets that he had from when he was a kid. There was an old ambulance and an old uh, police car, I think. And so that's when I first started really playing with Legos and I loved them a lot, even when I was a little kid. So my parents kept picking out awesome sets. They gave me a uh, blue a cargo helicopter, um, some more little police sets, different things um, as gifts. And then, uh, as I got older and I could buy them myself, I kept collecting them because I just had a lot of fun sorting them and storing them and um, coming up with different creative things. So there was never really a, a part where I started just doing Legos, but it's kind of been like, it's just been a hobby for most of my life and I've really enjoyed doing that. So, oh, let's see, I need another one. And I kind of fell off of Legos last year. 
I got really busy with school, um, having graduated high school and starting college. So I didn't really do a whole lot, especially with my channel. Kind of just packed my Legos up and let them sit. But um, this year, I put together some models just in my free time over the summer. The biggest one was the Nintendo Switch. And I put that together and people really seemed to like that. So that kind of kickstarted me back into doing Lego things again. Do you have good vision? Actually, I like to think that I do. I haven't been to the eye doctor in quite a while, but the last check I had, I believe it was... Uh, I believe it was like 2025 or something like that. It was pretty good. And I haven't I had to wear glasses for a while back when I was younger, but I haven't had to do that for years. So as far as I know, my vision is pretty decent. Okay, so I think this is the back of the bottle here that we're working on. And I left a part off already. That is not going to cut it. Lego guy is still here. Nice. Alright, so now we're building the top curve of the bottle, it looks like. That's not going to stand up by itself. Take two of these. And two more. And two more. There's a lot of these headlight bricks. Those are... I haven't seen them much in transparent... Uh, white before, but now I've got, gosh, at least 50 of them, probably more. Probably, well, no, this is the only, well, I guess there's one more bottle bag, but make sure those are kind of all lined up well. Okay, then I'll take these down here. Left eye, twenty fifty, right eye, twenty seventy. Hmm. Oh my gosh, sweet purple June. Hi, Nick's mom. You remember that? That's my mom. That's so awesome. The little ship is so cute. It is. I. I really. I. <laughs> that looks way better than I expected it to. Honestly, that is a pretty cool build. Um, I'm probably gonna keep this on display for a while at my desk, um, at my house. It is a very cool model. So. That's awesome. I can't believe you actually remember that was my mom. I didn't think that, that was going to work. Well, not work. I didn't plan that, but <laughs> I didn't think that would happen. That's cool. These headlight bricks seem to be a little bit more yellow than the rest of the clear things, though. I don't know if that's like a one-time, if they just produced some of the things like that, or... Uh... Oh, I've got to do that twice, too. Great. I should probably pay more attention to those instructions. Sam next to your brother. Yep. I was hoping my brother would watch this. He was pretty excited to see that I uh, picked this up. So, see how it turns out. And I'm going to try and build a little bit faster. It's already been an hour. I don't have class until four, so I've technically got quite a bit of time. But, uh, I mean, it's just a little bit tedious to live stream for four hours, you know? So, I will stream until I finish the build. I guarantee it. I will not stop halfway through. But,. Ideally, it'll go pretty fast. I think the hardest part is just going to be putting the bottle together. The stand seems like it'll be pretty straightforward. So we've got this. So we've got two of those, and that's going to go on each side here. Yep, this is the back. We're making a rounded shape here. So if this is... outside like this. Okay, that's what we want there. So then we need... Oh, I forgot to put the extra tabs on there too. The unfortunate thing about these instructions all being clear... Okay, I think it's actually pointing this way. Yeah. Is that it's hard to tell which way everything is facing. I think I got it though. Yes. Nice. Not actually as clear as a regular bottle, but it'll work. Whew. 
Okay, now we're gonna build the sides right there. So, lots more tile work. Fantastic. Sides like so, Oops. and two more. Who could have guessed? Who could have expected that? Cut these on the side. Are you still uh, reading, doing school stuff, Ton Lego Brick? Is that what's uh, going on behind the scenes here? I think it's cool that you can multitask. I. Uh, I actually, when I do school at home, I almost always have a playlist of some YouTuber running in the background. I find it's really helpful to just have background noise. I don't even need to see the video, but just, you know, something that I enjoy watching normally. Just hearing that going on in the background uh, just kind of helps me stay focused and, you know, do stuff productively. So, if that's what you're doing, I appreciate that. That's good. Random question, do you have a girlfriend? Yes, I do. Uh, yep, she actually showed up in the middle of the stream yesterday. She might come by today, um, actually in a few minutes, maybe. So we'll see. Um, if she does, I'll try to bring her on camera, but she probably won't want to. Um, but yes, I do. That's one of the confusing things about chat. You never know if someone's talking to another uh, watcher or the actual streamer. One thing you can do that's really helpful, if you type the at symbol, like in an email, and then um, the, you, the person's name that you're talking to, so if you actually want to mention someone in the chat, you can just type at and then their username, and then it makes it a lot easier for people to uh, see who's talking to who. How much friends do you have? You know, that's an interesting question. I have a lot of people that I would say are my friends, and they're just people that I know, and it's fun to talk to them every once in a while and stuff. And then I've got a group of people that are my friends, and they're people that I could go hang out with every day, and I'm really close with. Um, not necessarily like best friends, because I don't have a single particular best friend, but it's just... I have a group of people that I know and I'm comfortable with, and then I have a group of people that I know really well and I spend a lot of time with. As far as people that I know, I'd say probably, I don't know, maybe like a hundred. But as far as close friends go that I actually spend a lot of time with, I'd say maybe like ten at the most. I'm normally a pretty secluded guy, and I don't do a lot of wild activities, so um, I don't get out and about a lot, but uh, when I do, it's usually with the same group of people. Get A plus knickknacks. Hey, nice, there you go. That's exactly what I'm talking about, using that at feature. I do, actually. Um, one of my classes, uh, actually two of my classes, um, calculus, math, and, okay, I did do that right and engineering physics I have a B in, um, but all my other classes I do have A's, and I got straight A's in high school. I'm very proud of that. I'm sure my mom can attest to that. If she's still here, probably, maybe, hopefully. Okay, so this is the whole bottom of the bottle. As you can see, it's a pretty round shape. They actually did a really decent job of shaping that in kind of a circle. Um, and then it's got four little sections of plates sticking up to attach these two. And I have, okay, I have all eight, that's good. All right, so now we're gonna get to the actual bottle shape itself. This should go pretty fast, it's very large pieces. Just going around in a big circular shape. I can appreciate this model more than some others might because it uses a lot of sideways building, which is one of the main things that I do. All of my technology builds and my cars and stuff all usually have some kind of sideways building because 
I like to use it because it's a challenge, and I like to use it because it generally helps you add a lot more detail um, where you wouldn't normally be able to using just standard Lego construction. So I definitely appreciate the amount of sideways building that is going on over here. So there's the first kind of back of the bottle there. Hi, right, it's Sam. Hey, Sam, welcome to the stream. Right now we've got the little ship finished here and we're building the bottle. Do you talk in class? Nope. Well, uh, sometimes. In my computer science classes, I do talk, because I usually know the answers to questions and stuff. Um, I don't just, like, talk with friends, though. I don't uh, distract whenever it's... whenever possible. I try not to. Every once in a while, I sit next to this guy named Josh. Uh, he's pretty funny, and some, sometimes we'll make jokes. If the teacher says something funny, we'll make a pun out of it or something, but... Most of the time, I'm pretty quiet in class. There we go. Do you get clip downs on charts? Clip downs on charts. I'm not exactly sure what you're referring to there. Um, that might be something that your school does, um, but college doesn't do. I'm not sure exactly what you mean, but. I might need to clarify that a little bit. All right, I think we're getting a second. Nope, not quite. Oh, okay, so this is where the uh, ship is going to attach, actually. That's what these non-clear colored pieces are for. So these are going to sit tight at the bottom here. And then got these one by one bricks here on the side. Then we've got four of these. Come on now. Two more of these. Oh, we almost used up all the headlight bricks. That's weird. Didn't think that would happen. What was your inspiration for building this? Um, like I said before, the guy that designed this was, uh, is, he's still alive, um, is from Idaho. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, okay, I did that right. And I thought it was amazing that someone from Idaho got a Lego set to be actually published from their own design. So that was one of the things that I was really like, I gotta build this, because I live in Idaho and I can't wait to check this out. Um, so there's that. Outstanding is one on... Yeah, so that was my main inspiration. The other one, uh, like I said, is just it has a lot of cool parts. It's a very exclusive set. You are only allowed to buy one on the LEGO shop because they are not producing a whole bunch of them. And it's probably going to be pretty valuable pretty fast. Um, so I liked it for the idea of it being a collectible set as well. So that was mostly my inspiration. I'm just about out of their bricks here. <clears throat> and two across the top to finish it. And so that's where the ship is going to attach. So this is the bottom of the bottle. That's just a nice little clip for the ship right there. Ooh, that's going to be kind of a tight squeeze, though. I might need to <clears throat> take down the height on that a little bit. Okay. Oh, wait, there's a fourth one. Did I put a fourth one on there? I did not. Almost missed that step. There we go. And the last two of these bricks here. Alrighty. An hour and four minutes streaming. Past an hour mark. And I'd say. Eh, pretty close to halfway done. Whoops, that doesn't go on there. Jeez, I'm not even paying attention. 
There we go. There we go. There we go. Alrighty. Now we've got these sitting on there. There are gaps in the bottle right here, but not really anything you can do about that. I mean, there is something, but probably wouldn't work with the model very well. This one doesn't quite want to sit down tight on there. There we go. Get it on here. Nice. And next instruction. There it is. Gotta stop trying to build ahead. Just follow the instructions. Just like the Lego movie, just follow the instructions, everything's gonna be awesome and great. Okay, so now we're putting the ship inside. It looks like we're just setting it right here. Is that? Yep, I think so. So I'm just gonna kind of lock that one right down on there and just like that we've got a ship in the bottle not moving around. I feel like these masts could be shorter but I'm not sure how. Hmm. Well hopefully that'll fit in there without any problems. I'm sure it will. I'm sure they designed it correctly but doesn't look quite like it's actually going to sit in there, so I'm not sure. Hmm. Well, alright. Let's move on. So that should be lined up right there. Yep, looking good. Got that right. Ooh, okay. I missed a bunch of chat stuff. Sorry. Make your own mock Lego set with the Lego pieces. Out of these? Um, I've actually been thinking about that. Thinking about what I could use these for. Um, this is an awesome Lego set. It definitely is. My should my xenof Xenomorph tutorial be stop motion or just raw footage? Um, if you're doing a tutorial on how to build it, I would say raw footage. But one thing you could do is um, do a tutorial and at the start explain what the model is and do a sh short stop motion of it at the beginning, just the model by itself, and then do raw footage, um, you know, at the end of putting it together. I generally do raw footage. I feel like that's easier for people to understand when they watch it and know how it's built. Um, I've seen a lot of tutorials where people do stop motion, um, and it's generally a little bit harder to follow. So I'd say raw footage would be the best idea, best way to go. But that's just my opinion. So we're putting the bottle together on the side of it now. Okay, we've got more of these pieces. Holding it together, keeping everything lined up. Now that's a cool scene. This is like something you'd see in Pirates of the Caribbean. A ship coming straight up out of the ground. <laughs> okay, put something right there. This is definitely an awesome set, and it is so much better looking than I ever expected it to. I'm definitely going to keep it on display for a while. Alright, so you're next. Nick, when I make a new LEGO tutorial, can you watch it? I certainly can. Absolutely. Oh, I missed something there. Whoops. Keep skipping steps on accident. So they, instead of using two of these big panel pieces, they actually used some of the smaller ones here so that it doesn't run into the mast. Um, and that actually is going to fit barely, so that's nice. That's just going to sit nice and tight right in there. Oh, beautiful. That fits like a glove. I mean, that's a millimeter away from skimming the top of the bottle, but that looks perfect. Okay. 
So now we're just putting the rest of these on the bottle, and this is going to be the halfway mark, I believe, of the whole build. It's pretty cool. Taking a little bit longer than I thought, but not, not a problem. There we go. All right, so here is first half of the model done. Got the back of the bottle, so I think now we're going to build the top part of it, and it's just going to go right on top there. Yep. Oh, okay, so now we've got to use these. 284 of these tiles. I'm just going to fill them all right in there. That's one. I would have no idea. I don't watch a lot of Minecraft YouTubers, so... No idea. Just from the names, I'm gonna vote Preston. Whatever it's for. I like the name Preston, so... That's what I'm going with. Alright, so here's all the little water in there. I'm not going to spread it out because I don't want it to fall out this side yet, but there's our water studs. Done and done. Man, that is such an awesome model. That's so... That looks even better than it does in the pictures. I'm impressed, and we're not even finished yet. Okay, so bag number four. And these guys. That's what we have left. So I'll put that right there so you guys can see it. Okay, so now we're going to build the neck of the bottle. So, let's open these and try and get them sorted out quickly. See some more of these dark azure pieces. That's pretty nice. Five people watching. This is almost a record. I had six people right at the end of the last stream, so if we can get six. Today, we are going to tie the record. Oh nice, we've got two of these solid purple mini figureheads too. Never seen those before. That's interesting. We've got globe here. Another globe there. Oh, maybe that's what it's for, is attaching the globes. Maybe. Alright, let's get some stuff sorted out quickly here. Focus on the tutorial. Alright, brown is going to go over here. Blue. I'll oh, keep those separated. There's enough pieces to do that. Dark brown. That's for the neck of the bottle. Oh, nice. Here's the printed compass piece. That looks awesome. That is the coolest printed piece I've ever seen. And it's on a transparent clear as well. Um, that's awesome. Jeez. <laughs> that is really cool. That's probably going to be worth something significant. I doubt they're going to make a lot of those outside of this set, so got some more transparent pieces, got some brown pieces. Oh interesting. This is a 4x4 plate with an inside shaped curve. Haven't seen those before either, but I don't do a very good job of keeping up with the catalog, so got some yellows, got some reds, got some whites. Get those Distributed there. Got another pearl gold. And this is all brown, as far as I can see. So I'm actually going to move. Didn't see that. Absolutely, you should vote. You started the poll, you finish it. Got all our opinions. We want to hear yours too. Okay, and actually, I can put all the rest of these bags inside here now. Plastic. Alright, a lot of these darker jerk pieces. Again, haven't seen a lot of those in that color, so it's pretty cool. Some more pearl gold stuff as well. I'm so glad tomorrow's Friday. Oh, that makes two of us. Even after just Monday, I'm already looking forward to the end of the week. Ooh, here's a question for you. Uh, 
a ton of Lego bricks. I realize since you are uh, in school, I don't know uh, who else is here, but um, do you have school Monday through Friday? When I went to school, um, I was actually homeschooled for a while, and then I went to a private Christian school, and they only had school Monday through Thursday. So we kind of got an extra week or an extra day on the weekend to, you know, relax and do homework and stuff, which was really nice. So, uh, same, yeah. Got some more brown here, got some more pearly gold. Oh, another one of these odd, uh, like, tannish red pieces. Put those together over there. Pearl gold. Pearl gold. Black, tan, brown. All right, we've got our pieces sorted. Let's start on the final part of the bottle and the ship. Okay, starting off, we've got this and this. So this is going to be the cap of the bottle, clearly. Go to private school and get money off. Oh, really? <laughs> That's interesting. It's going to get Mondays off. That's nice. Mondays are the worst days, so now you don't have to worry about it. Are you serious? Let's. There we go. There we go. Nice. Easy peasy. Put our golden wheel right up there. This is an interesting bottle cap design, also. Um, I've never seen a glass bottle that has a big wooden golden bottle cap. So, not. Uh, I mean, clearly it was originally Jake Sadovich's design, and if he picked that out, then. I'm sure, but I've just never seen something like that, so that was kind of an interesting design choice. Alright, so that's going to sit nice and tight right there. And then we've got two of these. And and it's just going to be the upside down cork in the middle. So that's going to sit right on there. I put that in wrong, didn't I? There we go. So that's going to be the cork of the bottle. That's just going to sit right there. And I believe that is removable. Oh, okay, we're still building on it. lively debate going on here. Personally, I don't think, well, I'm older though, so I can't say. We'll go with it, that being swearing. We'll keep keep language to a uh, minimum here. Oh, this printed tile. That's going to go on. It looks like I missed another step along the road somewhere, because that's going to go on right there. Nice. Never owned one of these before. I've seen them in a couple of like the big modular buildings or uh, spaceships. Never owned one before. Now I've got four of them. <sighs> and they're honestly a little bit messy. Not sure where all this gunk came from, but I'm not a fan. Put that in right there. So there's the front of the bottle there. Nice and tight. All right, I got a little bit of buzz, but it's not nothing important. Okay, so now this is going to go on let's face it this way. It's going to go on in this direction. Make 
that stuff nice and tight. Awesome. There it is. Look at that. That is beautiful. That is a gorgeous model right there. I love it. That is awesome. I'm not a big fan of having the logo on the other side, though. But, uh, I mean, I suppose it can be displayed either way. That is awesome. So we'll set that down right there so you guys can still see it for the most part. All right. <laughs> kind of look like a bottle. Hmm. It does a little bit, doesn't it? <laughs> Almost like that's what it was designed to look like. Okay, now we're on to the stand. Last bit of the build. Here we go. Move this out of the way. Put some of these pieces in here. Yes, yeah, that's what these little, uh, all the little blue tiles are for. That represents the water in the bottom of the, in the bottom of the bottle, which I think is pretty cool. I mean, you could always put regular water in there, but might not be the best of ideas. Uh, why am I looking up there? My instructions are down here. Okay, we've got... Where's the other one? Ah! Hiding. Okay. And put these like that. So this is going to be the middle of the base. And we've got two of these. And underneath these are going eight of these kind of upside down bracket pieces. It's pretty cool. This is all reddish brown, which isn't that rare of a color, but there's still some stuff I haven't seen. In that color before, so that's interesting. Yeah, this is, oh man, there's no way that the pictures on the site and the box do it justice. This is a beautiful, even without the stand, it's a beautiful model. Um, I know it doesn't look exactly like the original Jake Sadovich design. I will show you pictures of that, of his, like, first uh, design before the LEGO team took over and, you know, did it up their own way. Um, and his design was, I mean, even bigger than this. It was huge, but this by itself is still a beautiful model, and I'm very impressed. Um, and I'm definitely glad that I picked it up as soon as I could. It was worth it, let me tell you. And if you get lots of those water pieces, can you make an Alice <laughs> Lego bucket challenge? <laughs> You know, that would take so many water pieces, and that would be such a mess to clean up. Um, honestly, I think it's a good idea, but just the amount of work and the cost and, I mean, I don't know. That seems like something that would be down the road. Anyone here watch Stranger Things? I've heard Stranger Things, but I have not watched it. Watched it. Um, I've heard a lot of people talk about it, especially at school, but never seen it myself. So, what am I missing here? Oh, okay, so that's going to go on right there. Now we're going to do that one more time. There we go. It's a great net for the series. Yeah, so I've heard. Brick 101 used Lego water and time lapse cleaning up. Oh, really? Oh, I haven't seen that. I should check that out. Man, that would be... I wonder how long it took him to clean all that up. You'd have to do it on, like, a hardwood or uh, some kind of really smooth, flat floor, because that would be such a pain to clean up. What did I do wrong here? Nothing. Just take an extra time. Yeah, I can't even imagine trying to do that. You want to do it? Yeah, well, again, it would just take a lot of parts. If you could get that many together, I think that'd be a really fun challenge. It might hurt a little bit more than water, because I mean, it's a big giant weight of plastic pieces falling on top of you, but uh, I mean, it'd still be pretty fun. <laughs> I think it'd make for a great video.
Okay, we're getting down to around where the compass is going to be. I think that's what this flat area in here is for. That's where the bottom of the compass is going to sit. I think. Seems like that'd be the designer way to do it. If you watch it, can you record yourself in face cam? Uh, I could do that. I could do a reaction video to it. Um, I suppose. I may even watch it at the end of the stream if we have time. Um, just adding to the, the list of stuff to do, aren't I? Okay, now they could have done this better. I've actually done this same thing in some of my cars for this other console, and they could have made made that attach, actually, but uh, they did not, so... That's okay, though. Not absolutely necessary. It still locks in place with these. It's not going anywhere, so... I'll take it. It's acceptable. Next up we've got some of these 1x8 tiles. Going up in here. And we've got... Oh. Keep missing steps. I'm not sure how that's happening, but... Okay, so then we need two of these. And that's what these pieces are going to be used for here. That actually goes around the compass so that it's uh, kind of looks like it's inset into the wood there. There's three. Do I have a fourth one? Oh, here we go. Alright. So there's kind of the original, or not the original, but the foundation of the base. So here's where the compass is going to go. It's not going to spin, unfortunately. I thought it might spin, but it won't. But that's okay. For these, put them around here. Six people are watching. Nice, no way. We've tied our stream viewership record. That is awesome. What are peeps? Peeps is short for people. That's what peeps means. And we need four of these pearl gold. Yep, still got the little shiny mark on them. All right, and then compass is going to sit in there, and the north is facing this way. Yeah, see, look at that. That is perfect, how it just kind of sits right flat in there on the wood. And then we've got a pin here. It's going to sit in the middle, so that's where the needle is going to go. The compass needle. Nice. So there's the compass right there, and you can see this little pointer thing can spin around. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty nice. That's really cool. That's really cool. Okay. <clears throat> now then. We're getting there. We're almost done. This is the last part that we have to build. <clears throat> getting close. You can see the reason why he used Legos instead of water. Comes with the needle, too. Yes, it does. <clears throat> What was the reason that he used uh, Legos instead of water? Is that explained in the video? I suppose it might be. Right now we're building the front. I think this is where the nameplate is going to go. <clears throat> I'm starting to lose my voice. I normally don't talk this much in a day, so forgive me if I suddenly lose my ability to speak. Okay, gotcha. So it will be in the video then. I will definitely have to check that out and watch it. Now, where are my hinge pieces? Here's one of them. And... Let's see it. Sure it's here, I just can't see it because I'm blind. <laughs> Maybe it's not. Maybe we're missing a piece here. Now there's supposed to be two. I didn't leave one in the bag, did I? No. 
It's always possible I could have dropped it. Oh, here it is. Of course, staring at me right in the face. <clears throat> I think he's talking about the Brick 101 video of the the ice bucket challenge with Lego water. And in the video you can see why he uses Legos instead of water. But that's something that you'd have to watch to know, I suppose. Okay, so now we're doing the fancy little fringes behind the nameplate here. Beautiful stand. It definitely looks like it's a wooden stand, too. I mean, it's just, just great. Just such details. I wonder how far we can turn this without it uh, colliding. There we go. Okay, and our nameplate. Where is that? There it is. Look at that. Reflective gold paint. Leviathan. That is awesome. That's going to stick right on the front there. Beautiful. What a great stand. I love the compass and having the name on there. Such a well-designed model. Okay. Now we're putting two of these on the back. Just doctor needs to use like this. <laughs> ah, I see. Interesting reason. Okay, so this is all that we're doing on the stand now. Face it that way. There we go. Okay, so now we are working on one of the sides of it. So, got this. This is going to be one of the little stands that holds the bottle up, I believe. Okay, then we've got corner brick, one by two. Then we've got, oh, I see, another one of these. There we go. What? Oh, okay. Keep skipping steps again. Goodness gracious. Can you please watch him? Um, I will, but not until uh, not until the stream is done, at least. Um, we'll have to save that until it's, until it's finished. So one of these. Okay, now we've got the arch piece here. So this is going to actually sit right underneath the bottle, hold it up there. Then we've got a one by two brick, two by three plate, another two by three plate, and a one by two plate. Doesn't, it almost doesn't look like there's enough to build the whole thing, but I assume there is. Okay, and I've got a couple of these. Are you serious? First time I've ever had to use one of these building an actual Lego set. Messed up on the instructions again. Just clipped my fingernails the other day, so it's going to be super hard to split these apart. Darn it. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. Back in business. Just got one of these here. Much, much better. That fits like it's supposed to. Goodness gracious. Okay. I 
Surprised I didn't use a uh, two by. Oh, I guess they leave that alone. That's odd. I don't know why they wouldn't put a one by three tile there. Okay. So now rotating it out like this, we've got another stud and another tile. Okay, so that's part of the stand there. And it needs a one by two brick here. Okay, so that goes on the back right there. Oh, I see why they left it off. That makes more sense. All right, there's one. Whew, time to build the second one. <laughs> Who's on first? Nice, Mom. Good job. I caught that. This is just getting confusing, isn't it, guys? It's getting quite confusing for me, all right. I'm losing track of pieces all over the place. sense. It may not make sense in the little picture, but it makes sense in the big picture. We're getting there. Almost two hours of streaming. Sorry guys, joking. Oh, come to your team. He's on first. Yep. My mom is old. She'll make old jokes. That's done, and it's going to go on the other side. Okay, two out of the four little stands complete. And I'm betting, yep, I'll put some tiles on the back to clamp it all together nice and secure. Perfect, so that looks super smooth. Very, very nice display. Okay, Sam and I are going to finish school. Where do I make? Oh, thanks. Nick, I have a Lego. Can I record it, and can you watch it? Um, certainly. I mean, I can, uh, I can try if you post a video. I will be, um, I gotta write this down somewhere. I will be looking at Lego Guy's video at the end of the stream. I will be showing you, um, the original model at the end of the stream. Lots of stuff to do, so we will uh, see what goes on. Make sure everything's going. Okay. Home stretch. Here we go. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, there's a good chance I can subscribe to you at the end of the stream, and then uh, I will watch whatever you end up posting. You didn't upload it yet. Not a problem. I will, I'll definitely still subscribe, and as soon as it's up, I will check it out. I look forward to seeing that. Um, I played the game, of course, so I don't know if that's how, if it's, if that's what it looks like in the movie or not. Um, but I definitely look forward to seeing that, especially if you worked so hard on it and got a design that you liked. Bye, Sam. Lego invention. Oh, that's interesting. That's a little bit different technique on that. 
Oh, these are for the globes. That's right. That's why it's got different spacing there. That makes sense. Zenomorph on thumbnail. Sweet. That'll be cool. Oh, what is it? Three. So close, just down the last few pieces. And these are, I th yeah, these are definitely for holding the globe down. Interesting purple heads. Never seen those before. Not blank anyway. So, that's cool. Very cool. Nick, what is NSHSS? Oh, my shirt. Yes, that stands for National Society of High School Scholars. Um, I was awarded a membership in this society uh, because of the grades I got in school actually so this is like um, just kind of a group for people that have done well in school for them to be able to um, get scholarships travel opportunities different things like that of course I put that on the wrong spot so National Society of High School Scholars that's what it stands for there we go beautiful that fits together perfectly last one and then we'll put the globes on, I think. Yeah, afterward. Pretty much build this by memorization now. Already done four parts of it. Or, I've already built three, this is the fourth one. My bad. Okay, so if this is going to go on here, we need that guy right there. Yep. <clears throat> so far, so good. Right there. Put him right there. Put him right there. are going to sit on the front, lock it all in place. Fantastic. So there is the base for our bottle. All the things that we have left to do is put the globes on. Okay. Yep. So these are going to go right here. Just like that. Now we'll bring out the special unboxing knife. Open these up nice and quick. I'll record my vid after the stream. Okay, nice. That'll be good. I actually do have a class later today, so I probably won't be able to get around to watching that video until tonight, but I will definitely subscribe. I will keep those notifications on. And when you upload it, I will see it, and I will watch it. Sorry, that was an accident. Okay. If you have an iPad, how do you face cam? I have no idea. I do not own any Apple products. Um, if you want to record on YouTube, I believe you can use the YouTube app. Those are the same pieces, right? and um, record live, or not live, but you can record from there. Otherwise, I'm not sure. You might have to look around and see if you can find some other apps that will do that. 
All right, so here's the finished stand. We've got our rotating globe pieces. We've got our uh, nameplate. We've got our compass, and we've got the stand arms. These are all extra parts. Globe with the bottle. Okay, that is all we need. Thanks, my dude. Not a problem. All right, here we go. Stand, bottle. Almost, almost. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. That is nice. Now, let's see. I think, yeah, it is supposed to go in right here. There's little tiny pieces on the bottom that actually lock it in place. Little things that stick out. So, here it is. Finished product. The Leviathan Lego Ship in a Bottle from Lego Ideas. This is so cool. I am so glad that I got this one. Alright, let's see here. Um, I would give a quick review, but I've been talking about it the whole time. You guys already know, I love the model. I think it's probably one of the coolest Lego sets I own. Um, honestly, yeah, I think it's one of the coolest sets I own. It is a very impressive build. The ship, actually, is a lot larger than I expected. It is a lot more detailed than I anticipated. And overall, I think the model looks really, really smooth, really clean. I love the back here. I didn't expect it to be so flat and rounded. Um, on the side here. I think they did that very well. Overall, this is an awesome, awesome build, and I am super happy with it. I hope um, we weren't able to get Jake Sadovich on, of course, unfortunately, but I hope that he is also happy with the model and how it turned out. When you build something in LEGO Ideas and they turn it into a set, the official designers at the LEGO company usually take it over and do a lot of changes. And actually, we can look at some pictures of his original model now. But I hope that the way that they changed it up and made the new design, I hope that he's happy with it too and that he's proud of it. I know I would be extremely proud if I got a set made out of my own idea. So uh, congratulations to Jake. Congratulations to Idaho for this big <laughs> achievement. Um, yeah, so that is that. So now, let's see. Yep, mission complete. Absolutely. So let's take a look at some of the original pictures here. Um, I'm going to hop over, let's see, we'll go like this, and I believe, ah, okay, take that off, I'm going to add a thing right here so you can see the, the page here. Put that right there. Nope, never mind. That breaks it. My bad. Um, hmm. Well, let's see what I can do about this here. I suppose I could, well, I don't know. Hang on. Let me figure this out here. Try that and see. Nope, still black. That's odd. It's not uh, not wanting to load in the, the page here. So this is my web browser here. I'm not sure why it's not actually picking up any of the visual information. Well, I will uh, pull up the individual picture then. <clears throat> and we'll take a look at <clears throat> Sorry. Excuse me. All right. Just get some of these pictures real quick for you all to look at. Okay, here we go. Save that. Save that. And save that. Okay, so now I'm going to bring this out here a little bit. So the original model looked like 
this. Uh, didn't it? Yes. No. Where did they go? Hold on. Working on it. pictures aren't showing up. That is depressing. Come on now. I'd really like you guys to be able to see what the original model was, but I don't know that I'll be able to. Alright, we'll take that off. We'll add a new one. So that you can see. So you can compare. Huh. Still not uh, not showing up there. <laughs> Sorry about this. This is probably ludicrously boring. Sub to me on stream would be cool. Yes, I will sub to you on stream. First things first, though, I want to look at the old model if I can get it to work, um, if possible. I'd like to be able to look at these pictures here. Oh, that's why I see the problem. Okay. Now let's take a look at some of these. We will add a new picture here, and there they are. Okay, so here's the original model. This is the original build right here. This is the one that we have now. So you can compare. This is not to scale. This one actually is about, you know, maybe, I'd say, Maybe, yeah, about that big in comparison, I'd say. So this one is quite a bit smaller. This is the original one right here that Jake Sadovich designed on LEGO Ideas. Um, so it's quite a bit different. Same ideas behind it, but, uh, you know, just a little bit of a difference. So um, that's what the original model looks like. Now, we've got this finished up. Let's head on over to... YouTube. The new one is way better. You think so? You think the uh, the new version is better? I kind of liked the bottle of the old one, how it had like the chains on the bottle cap and stuff, and it was a different color. So I thought that was kind of cool. But, you know, I think both models are awesome. Jake's design was really cool, but uh, looking at it from a practical standpoint, it would have been awfully expensive to have that large of a ship um, make things in that size. All right, let's go look at Lego Guy's channel. We're going to watch Brick 101, 256. Um, you know what? I don't know that I will watch it on stream today. I will definitely check out the video later. In fact, I'm going to put that on my to-do list. Um, one sec, let me type that down. Brick 101. All right, I will definitely check that out at a later time. New one is way better, except for the boat. I do agree, the other boat was quite a bit larger, um, so I think that was pretty cool, but all right. Let's see if we can find this out here really quick. I can't seem to actually click on your name in the chat for some reason, so I'm going to have to search it up and find it. Nope. Stop, uh, stop doing that. We're going to look at channels only. Uh, 
unfortunately I can't record my actual screen of looking at this. I'm not sure why, but my browser isn't actually letting me uh, do that. So let's see here. There we go. Go to channel. Easy enough. All right. Like we got seven subscribers. Well, now you, sir, have eight subscribers. 100%. And my notifications are on. Um, I could do desktop recording, I suppose, but uh, nope, not that. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Okay, position zero to hundred. Let's try that and see if that works. Nice, there it is. Okay, so um, gonna make one more change to that. Sorry, guys, this is taking a long time. Nope, almost. I have to actually like manually do the size of this. Um, There we go. Nice. Okay, so as you can see, I am subscribed right here to Lego Guy. So that is awesome. Let's check in the live chat. See? Oh, nothing different. Okay. Well, look in here. Yep. Lego Guy subscribed. So I will definitely, I've got my notifications on, as you can see. Oh. Yep, so that's on. So I will be looking forward to that video about the Xenomorph, and I will watch it as soon as you can get it uploaded. So. Good stream. Built an exclusive LEGO Ideas model. Uh, I feel like that went faster than I expected it to. That was really cool. I, again, I love this model. Definitely worth it. So we've got that done. We checked out LEGO Guy's channel. I think that we'll make that a part of the stream, is checking out someone news, uh, someone who's come to the stream that I haven't looked at before, looking at their stuff. We looked at the Instagram pictures last week of, that, of the guy that has LEGO City. Um, so uh, next week hopefully we'll get someone new that we can check out their channel as well and um, looked at the original model made a little bit of a comparison there so otherwise I think that is actually going to end the stream for today nice ton lego brick has subbed as well awesome Alright, well, good luck on your school town Lego bricks. Not a problem, Lego guy. I look forward to seeing those videos. Um, thank you guys for joining the stream, being so active, talking to me. Really appreciate that. I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the stream as well. So, this is the model that we built today. I will be keeping it on display for quite a while. I am very impressed. Definitely worth the money. Um, if you do want to have someone buy it for you, if you want to buy it for yourself, link in the description to an Amazon listing of it. Um, otherwise, that is about it for today. So this is the Lego Ideas exclusive ship in a bottle. Set number 21313 I believe. And uh, definitely awesome model. So that'll be everything for today. There we go. Alright. Thanks guys for watching and tuning in on the stream. Next week we'll be building a one of my car models. Hopefully still waiting on some BrickLink orders. Um, but keep an eye out for that. And otherwise, I will see you in the next video, hopefully very soon this weekend. So thank you for watching. That is the end of the stream for today.